Hello Nation. Today we're going to talk about the musculoskeletal system. Now it's not enough that diabetes can affect the eyes, the kidneys, the nerves, and the heart. However, when you have sugar that's high in your blood circulating throughout your body to every tissue organ, including your ligaments and tendons, you can get musculoskeletal problems. And I want to go through the major ones. And it turns out I've had two of the four major ones. So when you get glucose on your tendons and ligaments, there's a kind of a general term called stiff hand syndrome. And your hands always feel like maybe, you know how they feel when they get real swollen, you've been on an airplane all day, or you've had a lot of salt and they feel stiff and you can't really squeeze them. That's kind of a general problem. Now one of the more specific problems is called the trigger finger. It's also called flexor tenosynovitis. Let's stick with, uh, you know, trigger finger. What happens is the tendon that moves your finger up and down goes through little loops, kind of like a fishing pole. It gets swollen, so you close your finger, for example, and then you cannot open it. It gets stuck, and you can push it, and it hurts like hell. What's the therapy? Uh, a hand orthopedic surgeon might try injecting steroids to reduce the inflammation, but eventually you probably need surgery. And all they do is cut those little rings so that it doesn't prevent your tendon from sliding up and down. I've had three surgeries uh, here, here, and here, and it's perfect. Now, another huge problem is the frozen shoulder also called adhesive capsulitis. What happens is your, fro your, your shoulder gets frozen. The, the tendons and ligaments get covered with sugar over the years and then they kind of get stuck. And there's different ways you can treat it. You can go under general anesthesia in an operating room and the orthopedic surgeon just cranks your arm around to break up the adhesions. Sometimes that helps. Uh, other times, it's just grin and bear the pain for probably 6 to 12 months and it eventually gets better on its own. When I had it, I could barely button my shirt and if I put my hand behind my back, I couldn't even scratch the upper part of my back. So basically, it's a pain. You never appreciate your joints until they go out. And the last general category is, ready for this one? The syndrome of limited joint mobility. Now you see they're all related. Stiff hands, trigger finger, reduced mobility of your shoulder. This is a condition that you could test. You put your hands together, you push them as tight as you can, you go up against a mirror, and if there's any space between your area right here, and I have it, that means you have the syndrome of limited joint mobility. And there's not much to do about it if it doesn't bother you. So the bottom line is, these are not life-threatening problems. But if you do have a trigger finger, can be painful, frozen shoulder, that's the time to go to see an orthopedic surgeon. And, and, for, the, and for the trigger fingers, a hand orthopedic surgeon. That's all, Nation. See you later.